Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines where we're continuing on here. Trying to get these tanks done today. <coughs> Trying to get these tanks done so that we can uh, at some point get these fry out of here and into the new floating cage. We need to do a bit more work on the floating cage to get it ready. Uh, we do have the holes in these for the drains. We've had visitors all day and a significant rainstorm. So, once again, a bit behind here. I haven't helped at all on this. But I did, uh, we did, you know, we met a new friend and uh, another contact. I found out a great deal about uh, online marriages and uh, didn't help out the Anirio any, but uh, hopefully it'll help you guys some. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that they'll get they'll have this finished up by quitting time today. It's only like I don't know, what is it, three o'clock or so. Um, but I did get most of the trees fertilized today. Uh, I'll continue on with that tomorrow. Still don't didn't get any of the fish moved. Uh, maybe that'll be uh, tomorrow's Saturday, so we have we definitely have to get all that stuff done tomorrow and get the fish moved and get the rest of the. Uh, trees fertilized and these will be done by then and I wait 48 hours 24 36 how long until this is hard complete Tata how long before I can put water yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow okay Tata says tomorrow so um, tiger what are you doing, Tiger? Gravity. Um, so we'll get banana leaves and water in these tomorrow. I've got to get, let's see, I don't know if I have enough, I know I don't have enough ball valves for these. Hopefully I have enough end caps. I'll have to check. So we'll get these full of banana leaves and full of water and uh, get the rest of these channels dug in this because what I eventually want to do, I uh, probably haven't said anything to anyone yet other than top tie, but what I want to do here is we're going to, I haven't said anything because we need to get all these, we need to get these other tanks finished. So in about two weeks, when all these tanks are cured uh, and these fry are all out of here, all these tanks will be, uh, with the exception of this one, all of them will be available for uh, breeders. And so what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the breeders out of here and spread them around in these here. And we're going to knock down this right side wall and extend the floor. Uh, over to this next tank. So we're going to basically connect this tank to the rest. Uh, and we'll put a couple partitions in it uh, because the smaller tanks are better. Uh, in hindsight, each one of these tanks should have a, a concrete partition in the middle of it. But, uh, like I say, hindsight is 20, 20. Uh, because these tanks are just a little bit large for uh, breeding Good for grow out. You know, they'll, they'll uh, you can get a couple thousand fry to fingerling size before you move them. But uh, the breeding tanks per se, they're a little bit large. So we're gonna knock the we're gonna knock the wall out of this, put a floor in it, extend this here, 
uh, connected up to this other tank and this will be uh, turned into three uh, breeding tanks. And we'll raise up the height a little bit. Uh, Popeye says a full block. I don't know if a full block is going to be warranted. Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, uh, and that's, that's next month's budget. Uh, we're not going to do that this month. Uh, it's going to take a while for these tanks to become cured and to get the, the fry out of them. So there's no big rush. But that's going to be... Uh, the next and final phase in the in this little section of breeding tanks here, and then we're going to kind of rest because these are enough to keep us supplied and fry well supplied, and we might we could sell some out of this, but not not any kind of large numbers. Uh, we're going to rest a couple months with what we got and uh, concentrate on our production side on the ponds, filling up the ponds, the floating cages, making the ponds, and just keeping this, these breeding tanks for us uh, to, to keep us supplied and fried. And then at some point, uh, probably early next year, March or so, uh, we'll expand into the uh, fry uh, for sale side of it. By that time, that first tank of black tilapia will be a breeding age and we'll have close to a thousand females. Uh, then we'll go, then we'll start uh, in earnest to making more breeding tanks. Uh, but we're going to kind of take a little break uh, once we get all these done here. Uh, concentrate on the shrimp tanks and uh, the floating cages and the field ponds. It's, I'm looking forward to be, being done with this uh, breeding tank expansion. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.